Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we'll discuss about the third phase of the compiler. Okay, third phase of the compiler is like what? Semantic analysis phase. Third phase of the compiler is called as what? Semantic analysis phase, this one. So what is the input for semantic analysis and what is the output for semantic analysis phase? Just see. Let's see, semantic analysis. This is called semantic analysis. Generally, the input for semantic analysis phase is called as what? Parse tree, parse tree. And what is the output for semantic analysis phase? The output for, the output for semantic analysis phase is called as what? Annotated parse tree, annotated parse annotated parse tree right so the input for semantic analysis phase is called as what parse tree and the output for semantic analysis phase is called as annotated parse tree so in this phase we will construct mainly annotated parse tree okay later we'll try to understand what is the meaning of annotated parse tree okay so try to understand what is the meaning of semantic analysis phase. To handle this phase, this phase means semantic analysis phase, we generally used what context sensitive grammars. We generally used context, sen context sensitive grammars are used to handle the semantic analysis phase. Hence, hence this phase is also known as, hence this phase is also known as context sensitive analysis phase. Hence this phase is also known as what context sensitive analysis phase. Generally, generally context sensitive, generally context sensitive grammars are not used. Generally, context sensitive grammars are not used. But its counterpart, but its counterpart, that is attribute grammars. This is very, very important. But its counterpart, that is attribute grammars are used. Attribute grammars are used to handle Used to handle what context sensitive analysis. So to handle this phase means to handle this phase means context sensitive analysis or semantic analysis. We generally used we generally use what attribute grammars. There is no concept of what context sensitive grammars means in semantic analysis. We mainly use attribute grammars. We mainly use attribute grammars to handle the semantic analysis phase or we can say context sensitive analysis phase. Okay, later we'll try to understand what is the meaning of attribute grammars. Okay, in the upcoming class, we'll try to understand what is the meaning of attribute grammars and how to design attribute grammars and how to design attribute grammars in the upcoming class, we'll try to understand with the help of example, right? Then, See, attribute grammar, see, attribute grammar is a CFG. CFG means context-free grammar. CFG means here, CFG means context-free grammar. Context, context-free grammar. Okay. So attribute grammar is a context-free grammar production associated with, associated with what? attribute information so attribute grammar is nothing but attribute grammar is nothing but what context free grammar production context free grammar production associated with what attribute information where attribute means what attribute is maybe a type maybe a scope maybe a memory maybe a memory or anything else whatever it may be attribute okay so in the upcoming classes when we'll construct the syntax directed translation we'll better try to understand what is the meaning of attribute grammars and how to design attribute grammars, okay? Don't worry about this attribute grammar, okay? Just say, semantic error. So we have already discussed about lexical errors in lexical analysis space, syntax error in syntax analysis space, but here, here we'll discuss about semantic error in semantic analysis phase. 
so what are the types of semantic errors what are the types of semantic errors in the programming language okay just see the following are the the following are some possible semantic errors the following are some possible types of uh, semantic errors in the programming language in the programming language the first one is called as variable without declaration the first one is called as what variable without declaration okay we'll uh, discuss about uh, we'll also discuss about the examples variable without declaration means all okay don't worry variable first one first semantic error is called as what variable without declaration okay what is the second one the second one is called as what redeclaration redeclaration of same variable redeclaration of same variable multiple times multiple times in the same scope redeclaration of same variable multiple times in the same scope this is also one of the semantic error what is the third one what is the third semantic error third semantic error is what scope violation rules scope violation rules is the third semantic error what is the fourth one the fourth one is called as expressions are not type comparable expressions are not what type comparable okay what is the fifth one fifth one is mismatch mismatch of formal and actual parameters mismatch of formal and actual parameters is also what semantic error what is the sixth one the sixth one is what type mismatches in formal and actual parameters type mismatches in formal and actual parameters okay so we'll discuss about some of the examples of just see some examples this is the first example just see this is the main int a comma b semicolon c equals to a plus b just see it is which type of semantic errors it is which type of semantic errors here we have not declared we have not declared what c so this is called as the first one just see the first let's see the first one variable without declaration the first one is what variable without declaration okay this is variable without declaration right what is the second one second one we will see Main int a equals to ten, int b equals to twenty, int a equals to thirty means redeclaration of same variable. Here we have already declared a, and here we again declare what a. So this is called as what redeclaration of same variable, redeclare redeclaration of same variable multiple times in the same scope means second one, redeclaration, redeclaration of same variable. same variable let's see redeclaration of same variable multiple times in the same scope multiple times in the same scope right the second rule the second rule now we'll see one more example third one main int a comma b character c so a b is int type C is character type. Here we just add a equals to b plus c. We cannot add because c is a character type and a b both are integer type. Just see, it is which type of error? Just see, out of these six, here expressions means fourth one. Expressions are not type comparable. Expressions are not type comparable. Here expressions. are not type comparable right so now we'll see one more example fourth one main int a equals to 10 okay then print f or d this is a okay so we'll print this a value okay so just say it is which type of error 
here scope is over here scope is completed just uh, close the scope here ben this is calibrates uh, start and this is the end of calibrates then we print uh, then we print the value of what a means you can see here scope violation rules we can use what scope violation rules we can write okay let's see this is scope violation violation rules all right what is the fifth one let's see the fifth one main int a comma b sum one two three sum is a function here we call sum function int a let's say we pass only one variable but here how many variables there are three variables so this is called as what this is called as type mismatches in formal and actual parameters means mismatch of formal and actual parameters okay okay mismatch of mismatch of formal and actual parameters okay so this is called as the mismatch of formal and actual parameters okay so in the next class we will discuss about the attribute grammars what is the meaning of attribute grammars and how to construct the syntax related translation okay so in the next class or upcoming classes we'll discuss okay thanks for watching